So a patient is going to factor in their risks. So particularly if the doctor's monitoring certain blood test results or scan results, that is a key part of it. So they're not going to ignore those risks. So they're going to be monitoring. So they're going to be questioning which or the value of a treatment all round. So for example, for a patient who's on a treatment that may stop them from going downhill, supposing they've got cancer, and the treatment says, yes, this treatment is going to shrink that cancer, it could get rid of it, that person still knows the risks, both of the treatment and of the fact that it's not going to cure it forever or it could come back. So what they're looking to do is they're looking to mitigate those other risks, which may be their practitioner isn't it, it isn't part of their the services that they offer so that's why patients doctor shop or they practitioner shop they're trying to find someone who can mitigate these other risks or improve the odds of their outcome so what we're looking at is for those patients is they want to get into the top group that did the best now from a specialist point of view it may be, well, these are your odds, like a, a, a betting, betting on the horses, let's say. So it's just an odds ratio. But for the patient, it, they're looking at their individual odds and they want to improve those odds. So you're looking at finding the treatments that have the most value in mitigating all your risks. So with this model, you can check off treatments against those key reference points that I was talking about earlier, which is um, maybe to do with your symptoms or your just, just your goals, but it can also be to getting into that survival or into a place where I want to stay in remission for as long as possible. 